Hello guys, welcome to 22nd episode of Lumion 10 tutorial. In this episode, we want to talk about objects in effects. First option that we have here is water. It can convert your area into ocean and it can turn it into underwater so your area can happen underwater and as you can see the whole area is underwater now in all of the years that I've been working with Lumion I have never encountered a project that we needed to use this effect for but if I remember correctly, from version 2, this effect was there up until today. So let's remove this effect. Well, we were on the roof. I couldn't even recognize where we were. If we want to see it again, it will look like this. Well, I think this object is mainly used for archaeology. And in effect, we have another thing called layer visibility. And in layer visibility, you can use different layers in your project. For example, imagine in one of your shots, you want to add a figure inside your area. Let me activate it inside layer number 5 and let's place some figures. We select other number, layer number 5, and we want to get a render from this project. For example, in this render shot that we have, we want to keep these kids. But I don't want them to be there in our next shot. So in our visibility, we turn off layer number 6. So we can control our layers like that and show what we want and remove what we don't want in the specific layers. And you can use this setting in animation making, which first, like each layer is being add, add up on another. Like first lights, house, figures, one by one. So first we select our trees and we put them in layer number six. Let's create a new layer. And then let's just start adding some light in our area. We increase the amount of light so it's fairly obvious in our animation. Now let's select the lights and let's put them in layer number 7 so we can turn them off later on. We can do the same thing for furniture. Let me check where can I select the building. It was outside of the building. Now let's select it and select the furniture inside that building and move them inside layer number 8. Look at what's about to happen. In a close-up shot that we want to get and we are moving backwards. Maybe we do it in different levels. Very simple movement. In layer visibility, let me determine what we should do. Let's add some second to this shot. We can do different effects as well. Let's add realistic effect as well. Let's change the angle of the sun and Let's add a little zoom with handheld camera effect as well. I 
and we select two point perspective and let's add a normal reflection and in order to not make it too heavy we will not add other stuff and look at what's about to happen in this effect we go in effect and we activate layer visibility and let's say at the start of the animation we will not show six seven eight layer and as you can see in similar animations we can add layer number seven and here we add layer number eight and then we add layer number six and look at the animation now we can see this is step by step and you can bring your taste into it and create what you want And like that, you can make it that your items will appear inside the project one by one. We can even add some more stuff. For example, as much as it's going back, we add some bushes and trees here as well in layer number nine. Let's activate it. And now let's put some trees here. Just in order to show you guys that how we can do that So we carried something like this and as it's getting closer so we have these layers let's turn it off and now in the next one we can activate or deactivate these keyframe and here we can create a new keyframe and add layer number nine And as you can see now, one by one, details are being added to the project. We can even add a new one to place some figures inside our design. We can use 2D people in order to create a lighter area. Just in order to do something here, in order to create another layer. That's all. And here we need to deactivate layer number 10 in all of these keyframes. And create a new step here. Turn on layer number 10. And as you can see, you can add effects like that one by one in your project. Let me increase the speed of this scene. And now we can see it in a shorter movement. So like that, you can create an animation layer by layer. Let's go check the next option. Now we want to get a render shot and in layer visibility. Well, we don't want layer number 10. Let's make number six visible and the rest to be there. Next item that we have in object and effect is autumn colors. Which in this one you can fairly easily 
turn the area to autumn and select your objects and make your trees to be autumn trees well and you can select the layer to do the effect specifically on one specific layer so we had layer number six and i think let me check which layer is the layer for the trees oh well it's on layer number one let's turn on the layer number six five is on as well let's go back into render and we target layer number one to change the color in the trees in our background and as you can see the tree back there just got a orange color to it now we put it on realistic in order to increase the light a little bit so we have something like this and if i want to select another layer here we can target different layers so if we change the target for layer number six you need to specify hue and saturation specifically for that layer so we go inside that area again and this time we choose fine detail trees and we put them in layer number six now if you select layer number six here and as you can see all of these trees are changing color let me reduce the variation a little bit and saturation as well and increase it here to achieve the light that we want in our design and we have another topic called variation control let me review this again i taught you guys this in previous episode in variation control for example you loaded an object here For example, a project that we've loaded previously, for example, or let's just load another one here. Let's go to the project. And we have to alternate it alternative for this project. For example, we have a 3D model for our brick. Let's it reload inside the mule. Like that. And we can add any material that we want for this project. And in variation, we can say let's import the next alternative like that. We remember it as number two and we have the next alternative on this one. And you can see number one and number two. They are a bit different in some objects and areas. And as you remember one of the alternatives was brick and the other one was concrete. Like that, two different alternative. And in render, if you remember, you need to click on variation control, find the selection of the building. And in a part that you have current variation, you can change the variation just like that. 
and show any version of the building and the area that you want just by a simple click. And the next tab that we have is sound. So we have different angles here. Personally, I never use sound inside Lumion and I usually use other program to put music and sound on the project. Here you use wave file and controlling wave file and finding wave file is a little hard. So we have an animation here like that and another one. And if you go on effect the sound is closed because you need to select the sound on the whole thing. You need to select the whole clip and now you can add the sound here. And the format that you need to use is wave and you cannot use mp3 or other file. Because I don't have any wave file here, we will not add anything here. But you can add a music like that. But for example, if you want to add a sound effect in your area, here you can add any sound effect that is suitable for your design, like nature sound. And you can just place them inside your area like that. And you can determine the minimum distance and the maximum distance that this sound can be heard. And multiple sounds can be placed in one spot and they can be heard at the same time. And as you can see, we are just mixing a couple of things together and it will automatically be added in sound your animation and in sound we can add another sound effect which you can easily do with your mobile phone as well and i prefer not to do it here and we've reviewed this object together now i hope you enjoyed this episode send me your projects online so we can review them together and use them inside your project. Be well.